When you are traveling full time, there will be days where you just miss your home country's food. I haven't been to Germany for almost three years now and today I'm just craving German food. And I found out that there's a German restaurant here in Colombo, Sri Lanka. Let's go there, check it out, see if the food is authentic and proper German. And yeah, in the past weeks you saw me trying a lot of local Sri Lankan food. Today I will show you some German food. But first we need to find a tuk-tuk. Uh, the road here looks pretty empty, to be honest. Um, let's see. This guy maybe? Ah, no? Huh, I'm always confused a little bit why some tuk-tuks, even though they are free, do not want to take a ride. I think it is. Please uh, correct me in the comments if that's not the case. I think it's because not all the tuk-tuks here are actually taxis. Some are also just private vehicles, you know? Um. Hello! I want to go to the Bavarian, huh? Bavarian German restaurant. German restaurant. You know, a uh, Golf Face Hotel. Golf Face Hotel. Yeah, Golf, yeah, 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 yeah. How much? Two hundred fifty. Oh. Two fifty. Okay. Okay. Okay, Stuti. Thank you. So yeah, it should be just like a two, uh, three minutes ride. It's not far. I have to go left oh, here. Yeah. And then the restaurant is over here. You, you can stop here. Yes, okay. No, just yes, yeah, yeah. Okay. Stuti, thank you very much. We can make 300, okay? You have 200? And I give you 300. Thank okay. You Stuti, thank you. Have a good day. So, over there we have the, the Gold Face Beach area, which you also maybe remember from one of my first videos in Colombo. There's like a street food place in the evening and then I already see the German flag here the German restaurant which is called the Bavarian which is a state in Germany in southern Germany hello open okay can I make a video here okay yes okay good afternoon right, temperature check okay hello Hi. I'm one? here for some German food, just one, yes. Yeah. Is the, the owner German here? No, 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 he is a German owner. Ah, so previously it was a German yes. owner? No, so Sri Lankan management. And now Sri Lankan management? Yes. Okay. With a German beer also. You have German beer here? We'll have some, but uh, no Dunkel. No Dunkel? No Dunkel, that's no, available. Okay, I will have a look. Yeah. Then you ah, this is the menu here, okay. First thing I noticed that uh, in the background we have German music, which is German drunk party music, <laughs> which is played, for example, at the Oktoberfest. So it's actually quite funny to hear that music here. But here, the atmosphere here, I have to say, it's a dark restaurant, which many restaurants in Germany look like this. It's like a old style back in the days. And I also have to say, so the name here is the Bavarian, which is a state in southern Germany, and. I have never been there and the food there is special. It is possible that some of these dishes are even uh, new for me because I've never been to Bavaria and they do have their own style of food there. Basically like anywhere in the world, like in Sri Lanka, I am sure the food in Northern Sri Lanka is a little bit different than in Southern Sri Lanka or some dishes are different. So let's have a look at the menu. First thing I noticed, we have this uh, old German writing here. This is like medieval German writing which uh, sometimes is even a little bit difficult for me to read because some of these letters look very hard to uh, identify. And I also have different German beers here. Benedicta, Bitburger Pilsner. I'm not a huge beer drinker. It's very rare that you see me drinking uh, alcohol in my videos, but I think today I'm going to get a German beer here as well. It's my breakfast here, by the way. I skipped breakfast in the morning, now it's lunchtime. Having beer for breakfast, it's something you can do sometimes, right? And then, yes, we have a huge menu here, actually, with lots of dishes that I haven't had for a very long time. Yeah, it actually makes me happy to see so many familiar food on the menu. <laughs> and yes, they do, as I expected, they do have food here that is like typical for, for southern Germany, pork knuckle here, which is a popular dish in southern Germany, not so much in northern Germany, where I am from. But I am very keen to get a schnitzel here. Probably you heard of schnitzel before, it's uh, breaded meat, usually pork or chicken, which is yeah, very famous uh, for German food, or one of the dishes that most people outside of Germany know about German food. So I'm going to get a schnitzel. And then you can either choose here with pork or chicken. Um, I'm gonna go with chicken this time. 
And then, yes, schnitzel can be prepared in different styles. So the classic one is just with a slice of lime on the side and then maybe some garlic uh, sauce on the side as well. I am really keen to get the Jäger schnitzel, which is coming with a creamy mushroom sauce. The Jäger schnitzel means, Jäger means hunter, so it's hunter's schnitzel. And then usually you get yeah, potatoes on the side. The music in the background is hilarious. This is like music that you normally listen to in Germany when you had already like five to ten beers. Didn't expect to hear this music here. <laughs> so I would like to have the, the Bitburger Pilsner. Yes, it's in, in a bottle, right? Yes. yes. Okay. And I would like to have a schnitzel with a chicken and Jäger. Can I have mashed potatoes? Yes. Mashed potatoes, okay. And can I have maybe just a glass of water? Oh, I am excited. Wow. The last time I had German food, maybe if you followed my channel already in Thailand, you remember, in December I found a German restaurant in a village in rural Thailand. That was also quite exciting. And that was the last time, yeah, the last time I had proper German food. So that's, what's that, like three months ago now. And you're actually talking about Germany. Um, as you know, I haven't been home for almost three years. So I left Germany in August 2019 when I went to Bangkok to do my exchange semester. And uh, you know, during that semester, which was my final master semester, I fell in love with Southeast Asia. I started my YouTube channel during that time. And since then I've never returned to Germany. So I decided to, to stay in Asia, travel around Asia, make YouTube my uh, yeah, full-time job by now. It's crazy that that is almost three years ago by now. But I am actually in the planning of yeah, planning my return home. Maybe after Sri Lanka or maybe I'm going to another country first for a few weeks and then go home to Germany. But I think in the near near future I will return to Germany. But of course that's not the end of my YouTube channel. I will only go back to Germany for a vacation for maybe two, three weeks. My mom, my dad are super happy that I'm planning to return soon. But as soon as the vacation is over, I will definitely return back to, uh, to South Asia or to, to Southeast Asia. I haven't really decided uh, about the next country yet, but uh, yeah, as soon as I know, I will let you know. Okay, can I pro it? Oh, thank you very much. Okay, because proing a beer is a science in Germany. And uh, I used to work in a restaurant as a waiter when I was a student. So I should be able to pour it properly. And uh, believe it or not, if you are, because I worked in a restaurant, I know that, if you pour the beer not correctly, there will be people in the restaurant complaining about it. So uh, it is really important how to pour it. So let me now demonstrate you how to pour a German beer. So this is Bitburger beer, which is a popular beer in Germany. Yeah, you have to hold the glass like this. What I see many people do wrong, especially like foreigners that are not from Germany, they just pour the beer like this. But you have to hold it like this and then start slowly and then slowly raise the glass because what's really important is that you get the, the foamy part on the top which ah this is not perfect i'm uh, out of out of uh, this business for too long because usually you need to have like a foam uh, crown because we call it a schaum krone it's foam crown which needs to be much bigger than this so this is definitely not perfect but the last time i poured a beer is uh, a long time ago so <laughs> excuse me for that but let's taste it ah, yeah taste uh, like germany for me wow that is great so what is very typical in every german restaurant that you get Bread as a starter. Mm. Oh, it's warm, nice, soft. Mm. Very good. Yeah, the music here. I can't really show the music in the video because I would get a copyright claim then. I actually hope it's not too loud because otherwise I will get a copyright claim because it's copyrighted uh, music. But uh, yeah, this uh, music, it's uh, party German, mu German party music where I just sing about let's get drunk, let's party, stuff like that. So it's actually funny to hear that at lunchtime here in a German restaurant in Sri Lanka. <laughs> all right, let's get to the food. First of all, look at the huge plate here. It is a huge piece of schnitzel, which is actually also typical. Usually when you go to a German restaurant, you get big portions. Yeah, this is chicken now, you can also get it with pork. It's uh, breaded and then there's a creamy mushroom sauce on top, which is yeah, the, the Jägerschnitzel. 
And then I really like to get it with mashed potatoes on the side. Of course, you can also order it with, uh, with French fries, with uh, cabbage, uh, red cabbage is, for example, also typical, or with regular potatoes. And then you also usually get a small salad on the side. So it looks authentic as I would get it in a German restaurant as well, especially also with the starter bread and the German beer next to it now. Let's see the taste. Yeah, by the look out of it, it looks like a delicious schnitzel. And wow, well, I'm super happy to uh, have this in front of me now. I think uh, most of you can relate to this feeling, right? When you are away from your home for so long and it's never easy to find German food here in Asia, then uh, yeah, I really appreciate these moments when I do find a restaurant like this. Wow. <laughs> yes, it, it tastes uh, quite authentic. Quite authentic. Let's uh, try together with some sauce here. Mm. Sehr, sehr lecker, as I would say in Germany. Very delicious. Let's try some of the mashed potatoes together with the creamy mushroom sauce here. Mm. Oh yeah, thick mashed potatoes. I really love mashed potatoes. Usually in Germany I, I used to cook for myself basically every day because eating out in Germany is quite expensive and uh, I also can make my own mashed potatoes. Like you stamp the potatoes and then you mix some spices to it and then it gets really delicious. Oh, this is a heaven for me now. It is really heaven. And I'm curious to hear from you. Have you tried German food before? Let me know in the comments which dish did you try or what do you know about German food? What is the, the first dish that comes in your mind when you hear German food? I would be really curious to know about that. Ooh, I am super, super full now. I have to say I'm not used to German portions anymore after almost three years in Asia where usually the portions are smaller than in Germany. Let's see what's the final bill. So the final bill is 3,817 rupee, which is of course more than you pay in a Sri Lankan restaurant for a Sri Lankan meal. Foreign food is always more expensive, but it is still cheaper than uh, the same dish in a German restaurant in Germany, which would be probably around you know, almost double the price, I think. And what I just see here is, this is the, not the flag, it's, uh, we call it Wappen, I don't know what's the English word in it, but this is from Bremen, which is near my hometown, the yeah, kind of flag from uh, Bremen. Nice to see that here. The food was of course not 100% authentic, but I mean, you can't really expect that when you are in a foreign country. It always will not taste 100% as at home. And I also guess the, the chefs here are not German. But nevertheless, it was a really nice experience for me. I miss, I missed, uh, yeah, German food. So if you want to check it out as well, the Bavarian, I will leave a Google Maps link in the description. If you're in Colombo and you would like to try German food. And yeah, if you are curious to see the German restaurant that I found in a small village in rural Thailand, then check out the video right here. Stay healthy, stay positive, and then see you on the next episode. Ciao, guys.